This is the Music History Today podcast for October 20th. On today's show, tragedy strikes Leonard Skinner. First up, though, on this date in 1953, music teacher Caroline Scott married the future 23rd president of the United States, Mr. Benjamin Harrison. In 1939, the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra recorded the song All the Things You Are. In 1954, Laverne Baker recorded the song Tweedledee. In 1955, Harry Belafonte recorded the song Deo. Its official name is the Banana Boat Song. If you watch the movie Beetlejuice, you'll know which song I'm referring to. In 1960, Elvis Presley's movie G.I. Blues premiered. In 1964, a riot broke out at a Rolling Stones concert in Paris. 150 people were arrested. In 1976, the Led Zeppelin concert film The Song Remains the Same premiered. In 1977, Sting's Walk That Night Through the Red Light District in Paris inspired the police's first hit, Roxanne. Speaking of the police, in 1978, the police played in the United States for the first time. It was at the legendary nightclub CBGB's in New York City. In 1979, Bob Dylan was a musical guest on Saturday Night Live. In 1990, the two live crew were acquitted of obscenity charges in Florida. In 1991, country music singer Clint Black married actress Lisa Hartman. In 2000, Law & Order Special Victims Unit, better known as SVU, co-starring rapper Ice-T, premiered. In 2001, the concert for New York to help raise money for victims of the September 11th terrorist attacks was held at Madison Square Garden in New York City. One of the organizers for the event, actually the main organizer for the event, was, for the record, the now infamous movie producer, Harvey Weinstein. In 2011, John Mayer had throat surgery. In 2013, singer Kelly Clarkson married manager Brandon Blackstock, and that did not end well at all. In 2014, the group Unique was formed. In 2015, the group Twice was formed. And in 2016, the group Bulldog was formed. In classical music, in 1877, Franz Schubert premiered his second symphony in B. In 1934, Richard Strauss finished writing his opera, The Silent Woman. And in 1973, the Sydney Opera House, known worldwide for its sail-like designed rooftop, opened for performances. In theater, in 1954, the musical Peter Pan, starring Mary Martin, premiered on Broadway. In 1955, the musical No Time for Sergeants opened on Broadway. In 1962, the musical Mr. President opened on Broadway. In 1964, the musical Golden Boy opened on Broadway. And in 1971, the musical Ain't Supposed to Die a Natural Death opened on Broadway. Albums that were released in the UK on October 20th include in 1997 when Gary Newman released Exile. Meanwhile in America, in 1964, Elvis Presley released Roustabout. In 1969, John Lennon and Yoko Ono released The Wedding Album. In 1971, Elvis Presley released Elvis Sings the Wonderful World of Christmas. In 1973, Peter Frampton released Frampton's Camel. In 1974, Peter Frampton was added again, this time releasing Something's Happening. In 1975, B.J. Thomas released Reunion. In 1980, U2 released their album, Boy. In 1980, same day, The Damned released The Black Album and Donna Summer released The Wanderer. In 1981, The Human League released Dare and Quarter Flash released their self-titled album. In 1983, The Oak Ridge Boys released Deliver. In 1986, Frankie Goes to Hollywood released Liverpool. In 1989, Nine Inch Nails released their debut album, Pretty Hate Machine. In 1992, Kenny G released his popular album, Breathless. Keith Richards released Main Offender. Elton John released Rare Masters. And Madonna released Erotica. In 1994, The Sea and Cake released their self-titled album. In 1998, Crucial Conflict released Good Side, Bad Side. George Martin released In My Life. Ringo Starr released VH1 Storytellers. Aerosmith released A Little South of Sanity. Black Sabbath released Reunion. Heart released Heart Presents a Lovemonger's Christmas. And Kansas released The King Biscuit Flower Hour Presents Kansas. 
In 2002, the Human League released the Golden Hour of the Future, recordings by the Future and the Human League. In 2006, The Clash released the singles box set. In 2008, ACDC released Black Ice. In 2009, Timothy B. Schmidt released Expando and Leonard Cohen released Live at the Isle of Wight, 1970. And in 2023, Cher released her very first Christmas album, simply called Christmas. Singles that were released in the UK on October 20th include in 1964 when the Yardbirds released Good Morning Little Schoolgirl. In 1972, Focus released Hocus Pocus 2. In 1978, Elvis Costello and the Attractions released Radio Radio. In 1986, Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush released Don't Give Up. And in 1987, The Cure released Just Like Heaven. Meanwhile, in America, in 1961, Aretha Franklin not only did a twofer, not only did a threefer, she released a fourfer. She released All Night Long, Who Needs You, Maybe I'm a Fool, and Won't Be Long. In 1967, the Birds did a twofer. They released Changes Now and Going Back. In 1969, John Lennon released his classic Cold Turkey. In 1975, the Jay Giles Band released Love Itis. In 1977, the Jay Giles Band were at it again. This time they released a twofer. They released Surrender and You're the Only One. In 1978, the Talking Heads released Take Me to the River. In 1980, John Lennon released his last single while he was still alive, Starting Over. In 1986, Duran Duran released Notorious, a classic song. In 1989, 10,000 Maniacs released You Happy Puppet. In 1998, U2 released Sweetest Thing, which was off of one of their greatest hits and rare B-Sides album. And in 2016, Little Big Town released the Taylor Swift written song, Better Man. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 20th include Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Tom Petty. We discuss more about his life on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which is already dropped on this channel that you're either watching or listening to at this particular minute. Please like, subscribe, and do all that algorithm stuff. Also celebrating a birthday today, Snoop Dogg. Rapper Young Boy Never Broke Again. Rapper ASAP Ferg. Singer Danny Minogue. Ricky Bird of Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Mark King of Level 42. Randy Jackson of the Jacksons. Al Greenwood of Foreigner. Rick Lee of Ten Years After. Jay Siegel of the Tokens. Country music singer Wanda Jackson. Jim Sonnefeld of Hootie and the Blowfish, movie composer Frank Churchill, music producer Tom Dowd, piano player Roy Young, who played piano with the Beatles before they became famous, Phil Kenimore of Y&T, jazz guitarist Martin Taylor, singer Jess Glynn, singer Nija Charles, Mitch Lucker of Suicide Silence, and jazz composer Jelly Roll Morton, singer Mujin Rao, rapper Matthew Kim of K-A-R-D, singer Lepa Brenna, and singer Kim Ji Woo. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 20th include composer Christopher Gibbons, who passed away in 1676 at the age of 61. Violinist Michael Balf passed away in 1870 at the age of 62. Composer Henry Hiles passed away in 1904 at the age of 77. Composer Leander Schlegel passed away in 1913 at the age of 69. Composer Emmanuel Moore passed away in 1931 at the age of 68. Composer Mohammed Fauzi passed away in 1966 at the age of 48. 
Six people, including backup singer Cassie Gaines, age 29, her younger brother, guitarist Steve Gaines, age 28, and lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, age 29, were all killed when a charter plane carrying their band, Leonard Skinner, crashed in 1977. We discuss more about that plane crash also on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which, as I said before, has already been put on this channel. Country music singer Merle Travis passed away in 1983 at the age of 75. Jazz saxophonist Buddy Johnson passed away in 1984 at the age of 73. The conductor of the New Orleans Symphony Orchestra from 1963 to 1977 Werner Torkanowski passed away from cancer in 1992 at the age of 66. Pianist Raymond Raspberry passed away in 1995 at the age of 65. Henry Vestine of Canned Heat passed away from heart issues in 1997 at the age of 52. Singer Shirley Horn passed away in 2005 at the age of 71. Jazz saxophonist Frank Vaccari passed away in 2006 at the age of 75. Paul Raven of the group Killing Joke and also the group Ministry passed away in 2007 at the age of 46. Composer Pierre Sankin passed away in 2008 at the age of 92. Tuba player Harvey Phillips of the New York City Ballet Orchestra passed away in 2010 at the age of 80. Composer Pavlo Merku passed away in 2014 at the age of 87. Corey Wells of Three Dog Night passed away in 2015 at the age of 74. Jazz musician Don Rendell passed away in 2015 at the age of 89. Organist Hans Hasselbach passed away in 2021 at the age of 93. And folk music singer-songwriter Lucy Simon of the group The Simon Sisters passed away in 2022 at the age of 82. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 21st, when in 1995, Doja Cat was born. 